Take a look at what's left in that sunset fireflies Popping like the 4th of July, yeah You're gonna want to see every single thing I'm gonna show you tonight Got the perfect scene set for a chess game showing Jimmy knows he's gonna lose again So take a look around, yeah it's going down It's going down just right In August of 1914, the great Alexander Alekhine was playing in a chess tournament located in Berlin. While this chess tournament was taking place, Germany declared war against Russia and France. Alekhine soon found himself imprisoned with a handful of Russia's other great chess athletes. Now, Alekhine and his peers did not have access to a physical chess set, so they were forced to play blindfold chess against one another. During this month of imprisonment, Alekhine rekindled his childhood fascination with blindfold chess. He was really good at blindfold chess and chess. And almost a decade later, on April 27th of 1924, Alekhine was set to face off against 26 of the New York City area's best chess athletes. This exhibition would take place at the Hotel Almanac. And right before 2 p.m., Alexander began demolishing some of the better chess players the New York area had to offer. After roughly 12 hours of play and one short dinner break, Alekhine finished with 16 wins, five losses, and five draws. Alexander Alekhine's April 27, 1924 blindfold chess showing is still regarded as one of the most impressive blindfold chess exhibitions on record. Considering the strength of Alexander Alekhine's opponents that day, as well as the number of games played simultaneously. Think about it, 26 games blindfolded. That's 832 total pieces to hold in memory, along with 1,664 total squares. And when it comes to the greatest chess players of all time, I've read Alekhine is arguably in the top 10. But when it comes to the greatest blindfold chess players ever, Alekhine is almost always at or near the top. Now, I'm not half as good at chess as Alexander Alekhine was. And I might never be close to half as good at blindfold chess as was Alekhine. But I hate Jimmy a lot. So I'm seeking creative ways to persuade chess.com to decommission their Jimmy bot and replace it with a Dayton bot. So I'm gonna kick Jimmy's ass blindfolded. And I've called in the help of a dear friend and fellow chess enthusiast, Andrew Richardson. Hey, Andrew. Yeah. Can you make your entry now? Yeah. Now, Andrew is a great looking guy as is. But Andrew, you want to tell them what you're wearing for this special occasion? I have lifeguard slip-ons. Lifeguard slip-ons. What uh, else you got? COVID gym shorts. COVID gym shorts. He's looking sexy. And for Zooms, a button-up collared shirt. Well, welcome to the show, Andrew. Thanks. Thanks for having Th me. Thanks for joining and thanks for letting me borrow your humble studio. Yeah, 
Yeah, long time listener. <laughs> Slash watcher. <laughs> Slash force because I knock on his door while he's working. And if he doesn't let me in, I just keep knocking until I distract his work calls. It's fine. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Where's the chessboard? So the chessboard, we're just going to play Jimmy here. Oh, okay. And actually, if you want to switch the size, that way you're closer to being able to make the clicks. I'm going to put okay. this blindfold on. Here we go. And we're going to get after it. Let's do it. All right. And Andrew is also a competent chess athlete in his own right. So if I'm struggling, please help me. I will. All right. Just choose him there. Okay. Choose. Choose Jimmy. Yeah. Is that Jimmy? Um, no, Jimmy's already selected, I believe. Okay. Choose. Yes, choose. And now we'll pull, and now don't do friendly. Nothing friendly about Jimmy. He's an idiot. And now we'll play. Okay. All right. Do you want the hat? Uh, it's good luck. Yeah. Okay. You want it on forwards or backwards? I don't know. This is good. Probably like it. Okay. Uh, so we're playing as white. Yeah. Do you want to do the one where you move? Let's let's, let's go. Pawn? Let's go e4. Yeah. Let's move some pawns. Queens. Queen pawn. Um, up two spaces. King pawn. E. So e4. Gosh, you're good. Sorry. No. All right. It's all right. E4. I'm nervous too. There we go. I'm just a big fan. <laughs> all right. So We're he moves. Fanals. You want to move this knight to. What, what was Jimmy's move? Uh, he did uh, E pawn, king pawn to E5. He's terrible at chess. Uh, knight F3, please. Yep. Recommended. Appreciate it. Done. Great minds think alike. I approve. Uh, he <laughs> went knight, uh, queenside knight to c6. Okay. Um, our knight to c3. Okay. Our horse are really active early, Andrew. It's a stampede in here. It is. So he also activated his horse and moved it to F6. Okay, okay. Pawn D4. Now, Jimmy, you going to steal it? Let's see. He did. He stole it. Our F horse takes back on D4. So... F3 horse to D4? Correct. Okay. Okay, this is interesting. He went kingside bis bishop to C5. As opposed to stealing. Okay. Um, so that's an absolute. So there's an absolute pin on our C3 horse. No. Okay, either way, our, I, I want to steal his horse. So, so we stole his horse. Um, take our D4 horse and steal his C6 horse, please. Done. Which pawn did you steal with? The... He went... He took the horse with the pawn that was at being 7. So now there's a pawn at mm. C6 as well as a pawn at C7. Oh, so, there, so there's there's no B7 pawn for Jimmy? No B7 pawn. Okay, okay. B7 pawn took Understood. the knight. Okay, okay. Um, let's take our... Our F1 bishop to E2. F1 bishop to E2. Yes, please. Done. Uh, okay, so the bishop that was at C5 retreated to B6. Hmm. Was he in danger? Or is Jimmy just doing stupid stuff that Jimmy does? I Jimmy's stupid. I don't know why he did that. It's because he's stupid. That's right, we're going to win. Um, can we castle kingside, please? Kingside castle. Mm -hmm. So rook will go to... F1, mm -hmm. king is now at G1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he moved his queen to E7. His queen to E7. Okay, okay. 
let's take our queen and activate her. Actually, no, no, no. Let's take our bishop, our C1 bishop, and activate it to E3, please. So C2 bishop? Do we not have a bishop on C1 still? Uh, no, we do. Sorry. No, you're okay. Uh, okay, C1 bishop to say that again? To E3, please. C1 bishop to mm -hmm. E3. Yes, please. Done. Okay. Okay, so he moved his pawn up. So the pawn that was at C6 is now at C5. Hmm. That's not threatening any of our pieces, is it? No. It's because Jimmy sucks at chess. Um, our queen activates to D2, please. So move the queen up one space. Yes, please. He moved his C7 pawn to C6. So he's got a pawn at C6 and a pawn at C5. Mm -hmm. Jimmy likes double pawns a lot. Double pawning. Okay. If you will. <laughs> I will. I will. Absolutely will. Okay. So now we're going to take the blindfolds off for the sake of time and for the sake of me not being that good at blindfold chess yet, and we're going to finish them off. Andrew's actually going to finish them off. And if Andrew needs, would like my guidance... I will happily give Andrew hints, but I, I trust Andrew to finish him off. So I'm thinking we take this bishop and move it to G5. Mm. So then one of his pieces is going to get taken. Love that. Putting a relative pin on an enemy horse. Love it. Now, okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, he doesn't know what the so fuck he's doing. So we can leave that there mm -hmm. and move this here the only challenge is that would hang then because the queen could steal it queen could steal it mm -hmm. so what if we move this up to essentially set that up for later that'll work nothing wrong with that i don't know why you did that it, jimmy's not real bright that's why i'm trying to get chess.com to replace him with me yep so now now yeah you got to steal it Great job. Oh, good job, Jimmy. Now let's save our bishop. Retreat. Um, you could you could really you could even consider h6 and put pressure on the rook if he's if he's not going to save the rook. See now he's going to let you steal the rook. So we got to steal the rook from him because that's more points, right? Absolutely. Great job, Andrew. Andrew's um, understanding material value real well. He, he's counting the valuation of the pieces and he knows the rook is needed to be stolen and he stole it. Great job. What do you think? There's um, a. What are you thinking? Really, just want to be make sure we're being real aggressive towards the center. We have some material advantage already. Um, yeah, I might consider even sliding the rook to either of your rooks. Really, to e1 would be reasonable. Let's keep them connected. Get this one in play. More. Absolutely. Gosh, I Let's love see what this. Jimmy does. If Andrew weren't married, I tell you what. We'd have a good time. <laughs> what do you think about putting pressure on the queen? I, I think I think I love that. I think I love that. Force the queen to move. Not, discovery attack by Andrew with our rook to the queen. Ooh, great discovery attack by Jimmy, though. With his bishop discovering. Don't let, yep, his bishop. Jimmy's planning some stuff. So so oh. we'll need to we'll need to slide our king to safety on H1. That's okay. We're still in good shape. Now, do you know to save your queen, Jimmy? Great job. Okay, so now what's going to happen is Jimmy's actually going to play some decent chess. You got to be you be careful that'll hang our B two pawn. Um. So there's so yeah, rook to B one defended is reasonable. Gotta love that. Jimmy doesn't know what he's doing. No, I can do that because the pawn's not hanging. Love that move. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Great job. Mm, mm. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. And you got to be careful with that simply because that pawn is protecting our A3 pawn from enemy queen attack. 
So that B2 pawn, pawn probably has to stay for us. So, I don't know. Do I, see, I don't really want to move my knight. And then that could get taken, so I could do this, so then that pawn isn't hanging anymore. If, if Yeah, if you're planning on advancing your B pawn, um, you also have a check opportunity with queen to d6, um, and he has, he's not, doesn't have a way to defend that at the moment. So creating a fork. Um, because then I could take his pawn. Maybe. You could, yeah, yeah. Well, you could take his pawn now anyway. Um, I was planning on making it even more painful for Jimmy by getting, um, right here. Um, the only, ch yeah, yeah, that'll work. That'll work, yeah. Um, now, so he retreats. Well, now you can do some real mean stuff to him, Andrew. I mean, I mean, you're looking at things like finish him off with some type of you know, bishop to h5 and then queen to f7, or you can get your rook to the e-file and try to get your rook to the seventh rank. That's another option. Either way, you're doing a great job. I kind of like this bishop to h5. I like it because you like it. Mm, he knew what he was doing there. Now I think we get our rook in the mix and really just crush his dreams. Okay. Or so the queen's not in danger. Mm -mm. Then two moves I could put his queen in danger though. Um potentially, yeah. If he's smart, he'll impassant you there. But he's not smart, so he probably won't. I'm curious if he'll impassant oh, you. I forget about impassant. It's a tricky rule. Yeah. I mean, really, anytime you can get the rooks to the seventh rank, it's a huge advantage. You can block off. You have a lot of control there. Um, okay, so the seventh rank would be maybe put this rook here. That'd be great. That'd be great. Mm. Yep. Why does he do that? Because he's not good at chess. I love playing against him. That's why I'm going to replace him. I'm going to be on chess.com's so streamer list. I my rook here mm -hmm. and maybe win in three moves. Oh, I love that you're thinking. Yes. Absolutely. Do it. I, I, I agree. That's a good move. Okay. It's definitely a reasonable move. Mm. And he didn't really block that. Now nah, he doesn't know what he's doing. Yep, so now your rook can check. And your rook will also get out of danger. It's going to get taken. Count, we're counting captures. Real good. And then, yeah, and then your queen. Here. Absolutely, because you're protected with your bishop. Game almost. Yep, we're going to win the chess battle from here. We should. We should. So then... You, you, could, you could certainly... I, I mean, you could steal that pawn. Because then he's in check still, and he has no way to protect it, which is why he sucks. Yep, and, and then, then that, yeah, where you could you could do that, yeah. Or you can go with a f seven check. F seven, so like right here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now you want to be real nasty to him? Let's be real nasty, Andrew. Hold, do you mind? I just want to see you. You're gonna love this. Right here. Um, consider it. So bishop takes c4 pawn, discovery check. You steal his queen. You win the chess battle. Right here. And you also make me really turned on. Yep. Do it. Yep. See, because now he wants to steal. So now your, your queen is, his queen oh, is yours. Yeah. Right there. Oh, yes. That's beautiful. Oh, man. That's lovely stuff. And right you could bring your, here. Um, you could. Fork. Absolutely. Great job. The only other. Potent yeah, oh, your your rook oh. is going to be in danger now, but that's okay. You can bring your rook over to the D or the E file. And then you can finish him off that way. Yeah, looks e great. What? Right here, E one. I would, yeah, probably. Okay. And now you'll now you'll take, yeah. See now he's just take desperate. His bishop. Absolutely. With the rook, right? Yeah. Now you're going to take his other bishop. <laughs> Why did he do that? You're going to make his life painful, and you're going to win the chess battle that way. Now take his bishop. Absolutely. Mm. Hey, that's my king. You defend it better, and you play better chess, Jimmy. You suck at chess. Uh, keep him in check. Yeah, it does. you finish. Yeah, what, what if I do I trust your judgment. Room? That's even better. Great job. Keep him in check. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're beating him so bad. It's not super important. Yeah, now you now I'd probably go rook, rook check or pawn. Um, I probably 
I mean, you can finish him off a lot of ways. I'd probably go rook takes h6 pawn check. Oh, yeah. And then just roll your queen. Okay. And then do this. We just got to watch out for any stalemate draw potentials. He'll be in check. Yeah, and then his only move. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Hmm. Okay. And so now, here. If you, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways you could you could go king to g1, force a passing move. Well, okay, I could go here and put Ooh. him in check. You could. Or go here. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so many ways you can mess him up. Yeah. Oh, man, great job. I didn't see that. Let's go. I guess that was a checkmate. Great job. Sweet. All right, so I'm not that good at blindfold chess yet. But that's why you have friends to help you until you're there at the top of Chess Mountain. And I appreciate you helping me, Andrew. That was fun. Great job. I'm, glad I could help. I'm going to sing Jimmy a song to make it more devastating on his ego, and then we'll go eat some pizza. All right. Thanks again. Help with the pizza. <laughs> All right. You look great in that hat, by the way. Thank you. Did I? Oh, that's cool. That's a check point. Is that going to sit there? I'm sure. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Appreciate you. Sweet. Becca, we might have to share him. I mean, we can't do that. I just, want you, I just want you for friendship with chess, though. Okay. You can have all the other stuff. Thank you. Well, you're beautiful. As usual, I'll close my weekly battle with something musical. Now, I plan to do my something musical at Andrew's house, which is where we shot this episode. But I forgot to bring my disco ball. So I'm back at my own house because my disco ball is at my house. Now, could I have shot the something musical to close this week's battle out without my disco ball? Eh, yeah. But again, I have a fucking disco ball. I'm going to use my disco ball. So here's our something musical to close out this week's battle. creating music one second ah here we go this will be great and 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 go play Hey, Jimmy, for the night gets any older, come shake my hand like a good little soldier. I thought I told ya, but now I've shown ya all the moves you'll miss. Whoa. It's all getting to what we've been waiting on. For a robot, your chest skill is not strong to prove I'm not wrong. I just kicked your ass again. I even closed my eyes while I did. Like that remix? Chess.com. Get Jimmy out of here. It's my time to shine. Decommission him. Please. I don't mean to be bossy in my negotiations. I love Chess.com, but I want to be a streamer bot on their platform. So I have to be a little assertive. Jimmy out. Me in. Let's go. Have a good week.